Hello my lovely friends, it's Danielle here. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you the Besame Cosmetics Sleeping Beauty 1959 makeup collection that came out last year in 2019, which I have and I actually just got pretty recently. They um, did go down on sale and this is when I picked up those items. So I'm not sure if the items are still available on Besame Cosmetics, but I will put the links down below so you can go ahead and check them out to see if they are available. And I do know that Mod Cloth was also selling some of these items. So again, I'll have all the links down below so you can check it out to see if any of these items are available for you to buy by the time that you are watching this video. But I definitely want to get into what my favorite items are from this collection. I did a makeup tutorial using the products here and um, we'll get into that in a little bit so you can follow along and get this look if you are interested in following along with the makeup tutorial that was from the products used in the 1959 Sleeping Beauty Besame Cosmetics Collection. So first off, if you noticed, I am wearing the special um, cream rouge locket that is part of this collection. It is um, a beautiful rose gold locket and I love that it is not just a makeup item, but it's also something that you can wear. And after the um, cream rouge is gone, you can actually use this as a um, locket that you can put a picture in. So I love that this is such a versatile um, collectible. I love how this looks and it's this little Sleeping Beauty book. We have Aurora on the back and we have uh, Sleeping Beauty engraved uh, in the text on the front. It is such a glamorous princess item and again I love all things princessy and this collection won't let you down. It is so beautiful and vintage and very girly and 1950s and very princessy. So yes, this is another reason why I just love this collection so much. This is the Cream Rouge. It's a very soft, dainty pink. I'll even put a little bit more on my cheeks here for you to see it, just a little bit more. And it has a magnetic closure, so it stays closed very well. The Cream Rouge is a very lightweight formula, and it's great because it's so versatile, and you can use it as an eyeshadow, you can use it as a blush, or um, just something to go over your lips. So I really love how versatile the Cream Rouge is. So one of my favorite items from this collection is the Briar Rose Blush Palette. This is so beautiful, the packaging. It's like this really shiny metallic rose gold. Everything is rose gold. I love how they really kind of made this a cohesive collection where everything is just matching very well. So here we have the Briar Rouge blush palette. This is the cover. So the background image was actually taken from one of the cells from the original animated Sleeping Beauty film. And we have Aurora and she's sitting here in a silhouette with her animal friends from the forest. And I love how this is so like shimmery and um, gold. So this is what it looks like inside. And here we have um, Aurora's blush, which is from the animated movie. They color matched exactly her blush. And this is Maleficent's blush. So this is what she wore in the movie from the animated film. And then we have Aurora's highlighter, which is the lighter color, and Maleficent's highlighter, which is the darker color. So the bottom ones are the lighter colors, and they belong to Aurora, and the top ones are the darker colors, and they belong to Maleficent. If you wanna get those looks for Aurora or Maleficent, this is a great product because it is color matched directly from the movie. I love how this palette can double as a blush palette and an eyeshadow palette, which is what I did for my makeup look today, just using this Briar Rose blush palette for both my cheeks and my eyes. So these are the three lipsticks that come with the collection. 
This one is called Sleeping Beauty Pink. This one's called Maleficent. And this one is called Make It Blue, Make It Pink, which I'm actually wearing on my lips. And I'll show you lip swatches of these in my tutorial as well. We also have the jewels of the colors of each of the lipsticks on the bottom of the boxes. So you can see if you set them down on your dresser, you can see which color it is on the outside. So we're going to start off with the Sleeping Beauty Pink lipstick. It has Aurora on the side. I love again how it matches all the other packaging. It's very shimmery and gold. So for the bullet, we have another gold plated item. This is beautiful and shimmery and it has like flowers on it and it says Sleeping Beauty and the logo that is from the movie. Also Aurora on the side of the tube. So this is what the color um, Sleeping Beauty Pink looks like. I really think that this was a missed opportunity for them to name the three lipsticks after the three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. I think this would have been a great color as the Sleeping Beauty Pink. It's this more natural nude pink color, and I think this would have been a great color for Fauna, who is the green fairy. She seems more natural and more homey, so I really feel like this one is such a beautiful everyday shade. So here we have the Maleficent lipstick. This is the lip color that she wears in the movie. I love this color. Um, I actually feel like this seems to be more like um, Aurora at the end of the movie, just more of her red rosy lips, even though that it was picked from Maleficent's lip color. I think that it also matches pretty well with Aurora's lip color as well. I'm not a fan of the shape of the lipsticks where it's like flat on either side. I feel like it could have just been shaped more like a normal lipstick is. I know that all the best made lipsticks are shaped like this, so it's not just this collection, but I personally am not a fan of the way that it's shaped, but I really love this color and it feels so good on the lips. But I'm actually gonna get to the lip color that I'm wearing, which is actually my favorite lip color from the three in this set. So here we have the Make It Blue, Make It Pink lipstick. This is so beautiful. This is my favorite Besame product that I've ever gotten. So I only found out about Besame Cosmetics when I saw a few years ago they launched their Peter Pan Mermaid Lagoon makeup collection, but it wasn't as inspiring to me as this beautiful Sleeping Beauty collection. And this product right here was what sold me on it. This is the most magical, beautiful lipstick I have ever worn. This is what I am wearing right now. This honestly is my favorite lipstick that I own. And what happens is that you put this on, it starts out blue and then it fades to pink. And I love that it's actually kind of a more like purpley undertone pink cause it has that blue in it. So I love this color. I feel like this, even though it might not be the most wearable color for everyone, I feel like for certain people, especially me, like I feel like this goes with my skin tone very well. And I just love this color, the way that it comes out on the lips. I just feel like this is so beautiful and it just is fun and I love that it's like got a little bit of magic in it because it actually turns color on your lips. I think this would have been a great color to name Meriwether, even though Make It Blue, Make It Pink is also a great name for the color. But again, I think that they should have named the lipsticks after the three fairies and the Maleficent color could have been uh, Flora because she is the red fairy and that is the closest lipstick to like a red rosy color. But either way, this is my favorite, make it blue, make it pink. My only other concern about this lipstick is that putting it all the way to the top, you see how like short it is. There's like not a whole lot of product in this lipstick and you wanna be careful. You don't wanna like put it all the way up when you're gonna wear it on your lips because when you apply it, you don't want it to like break off. So I would suggest keeping it low. So again, you don't risk breaking it off the stick. My next thing that I am going to show you is the beautiful mirror that comes with this collection. This by far was so worth the money. I had no idea how beautiful this mirror was until I really saw it in person. This is the outer packaging, which even looks like the mirror itself, which is so cool. This is the back. So when we open it up, this is what it looks like. And it has this beautiful image of Briar Rose or Aurora that we see 
right here that goes well and matches the rest of the packaging from the collection. And here we have the beautiful Sleeping Beauty vanity mirror. I love this mirror. It's so princessy and I really feel like after seeing the um, Snow White mirror that came with the Snow White collection, this by far um, is so much more beautiful than that. And I just feel like this shape of the mirror is reminiscent very much of the shields that Prince Philip uses in the movie. So I really think that's cool. I also love that there's this engraving on here and like these jewels that are also um, put in in the design of the mirror. It's rose gold and it also is like very weighted. Again, it's so beautiful. This is definitely a collector's item and I plan on using this mirror in particular when I do all of my other makeup tutorials that I'm gonna be featuring on this channel. So again, these two products are my absolute favorite from this collection. The only two products I did not get from this collection was the large eyeshadow palette and Aurora's translucent powder, which I felt like for me, I already have a lot of pressed powders, so I, I felt personally that it wasn't as a necessary product for me. And the eyeshadow palette, although I love the book design and that idea of it, I just didn't feel like the colors were something that I gravitated towards for wearing on my own eyes. So again, this is why I was so happy that I could see this using as a double blush palette and eyeshadow palette, and this lipstick, which is my favorite lipstick from the three that I have. So for this tutorial, I already have my foundation on and I'm starting out with a medium sized fluffy brush and I'm going into the Briar Rose blush palette. First, I'm taking Aurora's light pink blush and I'm just applying it all over my cheeks with soft wispy strokes. This Aurora blush is a true blue baby pink, and it reminds me a lot of the Rapunzel blush called Floating Lights in the Disney Midnight Masquerade collection from ColourPop. I mean, this shade is almost an exact match to the Rapunzel blush. I'm not kidding. Now I'm going back into the Aurora blush, and I'm gently sweeping it all over my eyelids to build up a soft transition. This is such a beautiful shade and it really brightens up your complexion with a soft, natural flush of color. Just keep building and blending until you are satisfied. Since this is a very light pigment, it might take several layers to get the desired look. Next, I'm taking an angled, medium-sized fluffy brush and I'm going into Maleficent's highlighter which is this beautiful copper bronzy shimmer shade. I'm applying this pressed powder highlighter on the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and I'm gently sweeping it all over my face for a soft glowy effect. Just keep in mind that there is a little bit of fallout with this shade, but if you blend it well enough, the powder does adhere to the skin, especially when you have a layer of foundation underneath for it to hold on to. Another color that reminds me a lot of this highlighter shade is the pressed powder highlighter called Andalasia from the Giselle Bundle in the Disney Midnight Masquerade collection from ColourPop. This is another shimmery, deep bronze highlighter with a slightly pink undertone, and it is almost an exact match to this Maleficent highlighter shade. Next, I'm going into Aurora's highlighter, which is this beautiful light gold shimmer shade with just a hint of bronze in it, and I am applying that with another medium-sized fluffy brush, but this one is just a little bit more textured. I am just hitting the high points of the cheekbones on either side and making sure that it is blended out nicely throughout. Now I'm taking my finger and I'm patting on the Aurora highlighter on my eyelid towards the inner corner and I'm bringing that shade all the way out to the center of the lid. Another Disney princess makeup item that is really similar to this shade is the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter from ColourPop called A Smile and a Song, which was part of the Disney designer Princess Premiere collection. Next, I'm applying the Maleficent highlighter shade with my finger on the center of the eyelid and I'm bringing it all the way out to the outer corner. Now I'm taking the Cream Rouge from the Locket and I'm applying that as a layer over the Maleficent highlighter shade that I previously applied on the center of the eyelid. Once that is done, I'm going back into the Aurora highlighter shade with my finger and I'm building up a little more of that pigment towards the inner part of the eyelid and I'm blending it out in a sort of ombre effect toward the center. Next, I'm taking a small fluffy brush 
with no product on it and I'm just using it to blend the shades together that I already applied. Now I'm taking a small brush and I'm going back into Aurora's baby pink blush and I'm applying it in my crease just above the eyelid. I'm taking that same brush and I'm going into Maleficent's deep rosy pink blush and I'm applying it slightly more concentrated to the outer corner of the eyelid. Now I'm taking Maleficent's highlighter again on my finger and I'm just applying that on the top center portion of the eyelid. I'm trying to make sure that the eye look is completely blended out before putting on the finishing touches. I curled my eyelashes and I lined my eyes with the L'Oreal Super Slim Black Liquid Eyeliner. I created a winged liner look and added black mascara with the L'Oreal Voluminous Collagen Mascara, which you can probably find at Target, Walmart, Amazon.com, or at your local drugstore. First, I am swatching the Sleeping Beauty Pink Lipstick, which is a more natural, pale, nude pink lip color. It is a semi-matte lipstick with a satin finish. It does feel very creamy and moisturizing on the lips, and even though it's a lighter, warmer color, it's also a highly pigmented formula and meant for long-lasting wear. This color is a direct recreation of Briar Rose's actual lip color in the original animated Sleeping Beauty film. It is truly enchanting and perfect for an everyday look. Now I'm taking Maleficent's lip color. This is a deep, rosy, reddish pink color with a slightly cool undertone and medium brightness. This pigment was matched to the original ink and paint colors for Maleficent's lips in the classic 1959 Sleeping Beauty animated movie. It is another Besame signature formula. It is also highly pigmented and moisturizing, leaving your lips feeling very soft and velvety. This is another beautiful shade and it is perfect for any skin tone. Now for the Make It Blue Make It Pink lipstick. Just so you know, I haven't even tried it on yet and my lips are stained from the last color. This magical lipstick appears blue, but when applied, it changes to a beautiful cool tone magenta shade that is uniquely your own because it adjusts to your pH level. So everyone might have a slightly different color. This lipstick is a little more sheer and it feels a bit more glossy than creamy like the other two. I love how beautiful and magical this lipstick is. I've never really seen anything like it. For the final touch, I'm using my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Spray. So my makeup will last all day and it will help keep my skin looking fresh, beautiful, and hydrated. I love how this spray feels on the skin and it has a really pretty light coconut fragrance. It smells so good. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the little bell to be notified when I post new content for you all. I hope that you enjoyed this little makeup review and tutorial and my thoughts on the Besame Cosmetics Sleeping Beauty 1959 collection. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and God bless. Bye.